The first question, Mr. Kenneth, and thank you very much for being honest. The first question is, we are legalizing for medicinal and recreational. And I know that you're trying to refer to what I said about me smoking weed on the first day of inauguration. The, question that I, the point that I'm trying to make out is that we have had a lot of problems in this country. We've had problems with the, with the corruption and what have you. That is purely for purification and ceremonial. But when it comes to the, the question that I've answered, I want to answer you with emphasis. Kwamba is for medicinal and industrial for purposes of repaying our debt. Secondly, yes, I have children. And what they do is part of their business. My kids are born. They were born when I was in exile. If my son wants to smoke, he can smoke. If my daughter wants to smoke, he can smoke. Because it's up to them. Because where they are, it's illegal. Thank you. All right. Uh, we've spoken about the uh, Bangi issue, so let's snuff it out for now. Because you've spoken as well as uh, uh, about some of the Roots Party uh, revenue streams that you would project. And you've spoken of snake farming and also the, the sale of dog meat. Is there anything else besides this before we get into the details of that? Well, I've also spoken on uh, infrastructure um, <coughs> for unemployment, the working conditions. I've also spoken in terms of moving the capital to Isiolo. I've also spoken in terms of uh, um, moving a country into eight regions, regional governments, inter-regional governments within the country. I've also spoken in terms of uh, the Muslims being given a Friday, just like it's done in Islamic countries. And there are also other things that I've looked into. Yes. And you've spoken there about the holidays for uh, Muslims, but you are on um, record saying that Rastaman, Mrasta, oh, yes, Rastas. atakuwa na holiday kila siku. If they wish to. If they wish to. Because they are a minority who, who must be given preferential treatment. They are a minority. I mean, but in terms of uh, them working and uh, you know, yeah, they participating can work. in the economy. They can work, participate in the economy, and they can choose to work which day, whichever day they want within the framework that we are trying to, to build. Doesn't that go against the, you know, the economic model that you would have in terms of getting us out of the debt and the poverty that If we, we are so rich, why would you be working when you are rich? And that's my aim is to make every Kenyan to have money in the pocket. And therefore, work relations will only be uh, f for a certain period of time. When people have money, they can now restructure the economy and we can move on with modern economic infrastructure. And what inspires the um, proposal of having a four day work, four working mm. day, uh, a four day working uh, uh, period and three days of rest? Yeah, what actually happens, and Belgium has actually legalized what I've said, is that when you have four days a week, we work four days a week okay. in an open economy, 24 hours, mm -hmm. day and night economy, then we shall also move into the shift format where people work for eight hours. And let me say you start from eight to, to four, then somebody comes in at four to f 11, then from 11 to, to morning. That means that instead of having one person to work, we shall have three, which will increase employment. Now, when it comes to uh, Friday, Friday should be dedicated to Islam, Muslims, to have their holiday. But also, it's up to the employer-employee relationship to have one day off. Okay. And we have actually zeroed on, on Friday so that those who work in shifts, losing nothing, because initially people m had misunderstood that people will just work and then be free on holiday. It's a continuity. It's a continuous circle uh, process where people work in to streamline relationships between families so that single mothers, single parents, um, uh, people who do not have enough time to sit with their lovely ones, can also have time to, to re-energize and also plan ahead. Okay. If uh, you look at the Seventh Day Adventists, <coughs> for example, they have their day on Sunday. They don't have a day to rest, apart from maybe Sunday. They have their day on Saturday. They Saturday. Don't have, yeah, they don't have a day to rest, so they can take advantage of Thursdays. All right.